you will need the following ingredients. Plant debris, brown sugar, and that's it. This is a really simple one. As far as equipment, you need all of the same things that you needed for making LAB, plus a cutting board and a knife. You'll need a bowl for mixing, a glass jar or non-metallic container with a breathable lid, a fine mesh strainer, a funnel, and a scale. Now to make this, we're gonna need to source some plant debris, and ideally not just any old plant debris. There are three main conditions for your harvested plant matter. The first one is the plant needs to be nutrient dense, and you can check out our more extensive list of options in the PDF linked in the description, but I like to use comfrey, yarrow, and dandelion for my FPJs. The second condition is that the plant that you harvested should be healthy. You're looking for healthy, vigorous, growing, strong plants that haven't been watered a ton or fertilized at all, especially plants that are just sprouting up in poor soil. These are great because they indicate plants that have good characteristics and supportive enzymes to help them grow well. The final condition is that if at all possible, collect these plant debris before the sun comes up and starts evaporating the morning dew or even the kind of invisible moisture from the plant. You wanna harvest while the plant is full of natural juices. To make FPJ, take your plant debris and chop it up. No need to pulverize it or blend it. You're just trying to gently increase the surface area and open it up a bit so that the brown sugar can do its work. Speaking of which, once you have chopped up the plant debris, I've got comfrey here. Go ahead and weigh out your materials and then weigh out equal parts of brown sugar. Now mix it on up. Depending on what you're mixing, you'll wanna wear gloves, stinging nettles, for instance, which are pretty great FPJ material. You'll wanna wear gloves for those. And what you'll see within a few minutes and definitely after a few hours is the power of osmosis at work again. The brown sugar is gonna draw out the moisture from the cells of the plant debris, taking out with it plant growth hormones, microbes, enzymes, and some plant nutrients. And at this point, all that's happening is a gentle extraction. There's no fermentation. Once an appropriate amount of moisture has been drawn out, however, the microbes on the plant debris will find themselves in a liquid with a high enough viscosity to be able to stop from going dormant. So the brown sugar actually becomes a food source for these microbes and they go to work multiplying and developing. After three to five days of this, the bacteria and yeast will have converted enough of the sugar into acids and a little bit of alcohol so that the pH will drop and create an environment that avoids spoilage. Essentially, wait a week after mixing your brown sugar and plant debris and your brew will stabilize. Then you can go ahead and strain out your plant debris Take your time with this, no need to press it down super hard, just let it drip through and catch your FPJ into a separate container. Now this stuff should be shelf stable, kind of super saturated with sugar and the microbes aren't very active, but I usually store mine with a breathable lid outside the fridge or sealed up refrigerated.